So one of the things that makes WordPress so powerful is the ability to extend what it normally can do. And we normally are going to do that through one of two methods, either through a theme, which is how the website looks, or through a plugin. And plugins generally control how something functions or operates and adds additional functionality and operations to what you can do. So let's take a look at plugins today and get started. So here I'm at a dashboard for a WordPress website. It's actually a client of mine that I'm working on right now, and I'm doing some finishing touches. What I wanna do is look at the plugins real quick. And I can find that on my left-hand menu under plugins. And if I simply click on it, it's gonna show me all the ones that are installed. Now, this doesn't mean that they're active, it just means that they're loaded up to the WordPress website. Each one of these has different functionality. You see the plugin name, and then you see a description of that plugin. You also have the ability, if you notice on the far right-hand side, to enable auto updates. So that way it automatically is enabled. We'll talk about that in more detail in another video. So these are all different things that are currently installed. Right now you'll notice that we have a WordPress membership site plugin. We have a WP Forms Lite. We have something dealing with SAML, which allows you to do single sign-on. And then we have two other WordPress plugins, and we'll talk about those in just a little bit as well. So each of these plugins provides a different piece of functionality and allows you to do different things. To activate a plugin, all we have to do is click on an activate link underneath the plugin name. And in this case, it, since it was WP Forms, it's gonna kind of give you a little bit of a heads up, give you a video on how to do it. Different plugins will do different things. Sometimes they'll do nothing. In our case, you'll notice that I added a new menu item on my left-hand side for WP Forms. There's actually a lot of different plugins you can use for creating forms on WordPress. This is just one you can look at if you want to. But let's go back to our other plugins. Notice the plugin that we activated was WP Forms Lite. There is actually a premium support that you can go, and that allows you to pay for something. Now, a lot of plugins are free in WordPress, and you might say, well, why would I want to pay for something? Well, sometimes they have a free version, and they have an enhanced version, which gives you additional functionality. We'll look at examples of that in just a few minutes, actually. I can go in and change settings for this, and I can deactivate any active plugin. Now, if you want to quickly know what plugins are active, all you have to do is look at the side of the plugin and notice that it has a little bar off to the side. You'll also notice that instead of saying activate, you see deactivate. You also will not see a settings if the plugin is inactive. So I'm going to go ahead and deactivate this plugin just to show you what it's like and how easy it is to do. Very simple. And if you notice off of my left-hand menu, WP Forms no longer is showing up there because it's not active. So that's just a quick introduction to plugins in WordPress. In the next little bit, I'm gonna show you how to install plugins, both from a plugin repository, as well as uploading your own plugin. I'll also, in addition, show you about the two plugins that come with every WordPress instance that come from the makers of WordPress and why they're there.